<laughs> I gave my cats away for you. can't find somebody in my own country to f me why would you ever be that desperate like how hypocrisy you are oh my god i gave my cats away for you ramadan 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 hey girl gang what up everybody it's so good to see you guys oh i missed you this weekend i hope you guys all had a really 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 good weekend let's put another really 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 in there uh it's good to see you guys listen i didn't mean to flake on you all weekend uh i i told twitch what was up i'm gonna tell you guys what was up too friday i ditched friday i never ditched friday or i really try not to Understand that if I ditch a Friday with no explanation, it's just because my head's not right. My head's not right. I said it to them on Twitch that I couldn't, I couldn't get it up <laughs> to come live on YouTube. YouTube is like, you know what I mean? Friday night, it's a special night. They're plus like, it's a show. You gotta be on. You gotta be able to keep up with the chat and your brain really, really focused and in the game and stuff. And yeah, I just, I had a flaccid Friday. I could not get it up on Friday. And so I didn't try to fake it because I don't fake it well. Uh, and then I couldn't get it up yesterday either. <laughs> but here we are tonight with at least a chubby. Ah! It's good to see you guys. I hope, again, you all had a great weekend. Um, not much going on Shantopolis-wise this weekend. Everybody asking sort of the same question. Where in the world is Carmen Fett Diego? Nobody knows, right? Everybody trying to figure it out. There's a little... A little drama going on with her this weekend, at least on the community tab. She flipped the fuck out. It's still up. Can't even really figure out why she would leave that up. But it is all still up on her community tab. So let's take a look at the little ragers that she had. And how she bought herself a couple of days of no posting. And then let's talk uh, theories. Because you know I got some. Froggy Prince, it's your birthday. Well, happy birthday to you. I hope you had a great birthday weekend. That's fantastic. Kalari, thank you for the super chat. Putting your mental health first is important. Thank you for understanding. I really appreciate it. I knew you guys would understand, but I didn't want to come come live, explain, be the Debbie Downer of the Friday. You know what I mean? Better I just fuck all the way off on my flaccid Friday. I hope y'all had a great Friday, you know? But uh, yeah, just understand if a flake... I got, I got mental health reasons, let's say, to do so. I'm just not, my head's not in the game the way it should be. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. It's Cialis Sunday. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> I love that. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Wait a minute. Let me go. I can't make it bigger. And Forgive me. So here's, I'm going to read it out in the way that she posted it up, okay? For shits and gigs, of course. <laughs> 
Um, here, let me make this like this. Okay. Hello. I have had many people ask me for my PayPal info. I see a lot of creators put theirs in their video descriptions, and I decided it's a good idea light bulb. For those who want to send some support, all contributions will be kept private and I always leave a personal thank you message to those who do send me something. Thanks guys. See you again soon for more beezing. Wow. Okay. So the e-bag was strong on this day. She has no shame at all. Listen, she's broke as all hell. And if you believe her words, needs to set up a whole new apartment now. So she's looking for those coins and doesn't want to have to wait till payday, a payday that's going to be kind of lackluster with that seven-day strike she had. So then everybody on Twitter was going nuts with this one. She, of course, is all over Twitter. She reads every word we say on Twitter. So she edited, how is this begging? LMAO, most creators have a PayPal or cash app Begging is, please, please give me money. I need it for this or that. Nah, I put it up there because people ask me to. Don't want to give? Then don't. Have a nice day. What the fuck? It's not that serious, LOL. People are weird. <laughs> okay. If most creators have those kind of things up in their um, <clears throat> descriptions or whatever, she's got to do it too. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy or missing something, but I've seen a lot of like small creators who are barely monetized have things like that up in their descriptions. I've never seen somebody who flex making 20 grand a month on their platform feel the need to have, throw in a PayPal and cash app and shit like that. Now she has turned off comments because of course she did. <laughs> comments are turned off, but while the comments were still turned on, uh, there was some dipshit, Scott Stevens, in her comments, uh, doxing my full government name, of course, with his comment. No problem. Whatever. Does that regularly on her channel. She liked the comment, by the way, hearted it. I got, wait, do I have the screenshot? I think I do have the screenshot. It's right on the computer. <laughs> oh, we're getting NASA level here. Hold on. Okay, I don't. It's on my phone. We're not quite as NASA level as we like to be. It's on my phone. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> Either way, she likes the comment doxing my full government name. And that idiot's comment is like, why shouldn't you do it? FFG has her PayPal and her cash app and this and that. And blah. that's just a lie. First of all, there isn't even cash app in this country. So, and Chantal knows that damn right. Second of all, yes, I have a PayPal. Have I ever given my PayPal? No. Does my girl, my what? My girl, my PayPal have anything to do with girl world? No, 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 no need to e-bag. It's an e-bag. It's nothing more. But don't say that everybody does it. Do some do it? Sure. You know what I mean? Maybe I mock the shit out of the ones who do that too. Don't assume it's just you, Chantal. But if you're brave enough and you've got the big forehead enough to e-bag like that on the internet, you can't be so soft that a, a little bit of criticism over your desperate e-bag makes you melt the fuck down. Paolo, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. So, of course, everybody kept talking. She kept losing her shit. So this was her next post. Can y'all seriously just shut up about my previous post? Most creators have a link to some kind of donation app, including the dumb reaction channels criticizing me for it, LOL. And stop with the, your husband should be your provider because he paid for my ticket here just like last time. Ha, if you think my family can pay for me to come here every few months, you are delusional, nor would I ask them to do that. He pays for most of the bills, actually, but I have my own debts and it's not his responsibility. You all really don't know me. You think you do. You don't know anything about how much we make. <laughs> okay. Or anything about salad. <laughs> okay. He has been to university. <laughs> yeah, he went to university like she went to university two weeks. Uh, and supported himself for many years before me. Yes, we saw exactly the state of his life, the state of his car, the state of his just 
fuckboy clothing collection, everything. We saw the way he took care of himself before you came into the picture and that little shithole that he lived in that you lied to everybody about before you even went to Kuwait and told us all that he was living pretty good. We remember. Mm -hmm. uh, if you think my man is a bot man, prove it. Well, we don't have to prove it. When you put prove it into one of your meltdowns, that always means that we hit the nail right on the head, bitch. Oh, wait. All you have is the word of a known scammer and liar with a motive for clout. Also, if uh, you are going to claim I need to pay for love because of how I look, etc., how about FFG or that woman with no teeth? By, uh, uh, by that logic, so do they get real. He has money. He has a career and a business, which is none of yours whatsoever. Anyway, I'm taking some uh, more time away. Yes, Girl World won't mind since last time you mass reported and I want my channel gone and, and want my channel gone. So here's another break. She threatens us with herself taking another break like any one of us gives a shit. You ever heard of somebody like cut off their nose to spite their face? That's exactly what she's doing. Again, coming off of her seven-day ban where she earned zero dollars, she's now punishing all of us by not posting for days earning zero dollars, <laughs> except for, you know, what the feeders are sending her on PayPal. Nee Marie, thank you for the super chat, girl. I appreciate it. Uh, back to the PayPal thing for a second. <clears throat> posting up like she did that e-bag here about her PayPal and there's the link and yada, yada, yada. It's against TOS. That's number one. You would think somebody sitting on a strike who's just come off of a seven-day ban would care a little more about breaking TOS, but she doesn't. Okay. Here's another question I have. When she writes things like, uh, I always leave a personal thank you message to those who send me some money. It's like, what, what exactly are you selling? <laughs> What exactly are you selling and what is that person getting? Because I, I don't know, it's it's sounding a little, I'm going to be straight. I get feeder vibes from that. I get uh, somebody's getting their sexual fantasies met by PayPaling her some money to eat something very specific. And God, uh, God only knows what she's sending them back. Ooh. It sounds very breaky of TOS and very questionable at best. Capricorn NJ, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Foodie Beauty in 2024. Here's my PayPal. Foodie Beauty in 2022. We cry for food and shelter. Absolutely. Nothing at all has changed. Actually, you know what? The only thing has changed? Back in 2022, at least on payday, she was bringing in 20 grand. Now, ugh, now she sh soon will be crying for food and shelter because she's barely making anything. And then screwing herself over during the period where she could, you know, post and Try to make some goddamn money. No, no. It's like she doesn't want to. Again, cutting off her nose to spite her face. Tanya, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. He couldn't pay for her medical expenses to, uh, in Kuwait, but could pay the 2K for the plane ticket. The lies. Totally agree. I don't think he paid for the ticket. Hmm. I do believe either her mother, her, maybe a combination of both, they paid for the ticket. That's how she got back there. We, I mean, we listen, we saw the way he lived when she arrived there. We see the way they live now. They live in one of the wealthiest countries in the whole world. They and are living in a fart box in the sky. I'm not trying to shit on their home too deeply. It's like, yeah, it's a roof over their heads. It's furnished. It's okay. But again, they're living in one of the richest countries in the world. Th these are not two people doing well in that country. This is a guy getting by in that country. Blobfish, thank you for the super chat. I also love when she loses her shit. There, there's a massive rage brewing. Massive rage. I mean, you can, you can, we can all feel it there in the, the community tab posts. <laughs> so instead of coming on and raging, and I'm going to be straight, as she knows, damn right, the community loves a rage stream. Everybody loves when she's angry. Her beezers, even that everybody lives for the drama. You want to make up for your seven days? where you couldn't do anything, you bring those rage streams to the internet. What's the point of staying away? You're screwing yourself over. Just saying. Panda Pup, thank you for the super chat. She called Marty a broke beggar for his PayPal. Certainly did. 
Marty, who wasn't uh, monetized on the platform, puts up a PayPal. Her, who's monetized on this platform, tried to get Twitch monetized, can, couldn't do it yet. Uh, brags to people in the past that she was pulling in 20 grand a month off this monetized platform, has the audacity to be putting that up. And of course, it can't just be her move. It's like, well, I do it because other people do it. What does your behavior have to do with other people? There are some people in this girl world community who, who also e-beg, but we're laughing at them too. So when you do things like that, Chantal, and then turn around and go, well, this one does it and this one does it. Yeah, okay. But we're laughing at them too. Like it's not the deflection that you think it is by bringing up someone else in the community who e-begs on the regular. Tina, thank you for the super chat. Today's your birthday. <gasps> Happy birthday. And married 42. Happy birthday. Happy anniversary. I hope you had a great weekend. That sounds nice. Polar pinup, thank you for the super chat. From 20 grand to balloon hands, right? Right? Balloon hands with not even a fucking nickel in them. I, I listen, I know I go on. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to, I, I am trying to, because it still blows my mind. How in the fuck do you pull in 20 grand a month, multiple months, and have literally nothing to show for it? Zero. Zero dollars to your name. You didn't even get yourself out of debt. <sighs> What was the point of the 20 grand? <laughs> like, <laughs> Janet Pirate, thank you for the super chat. Rebellion interviewed Snowflake, who hinted that he was going to have four or more episodes of Chins or full length documentary. Very interesting. We love to hear it. It makes sense. Listen, two, part two is already done. Part three has to be Crackhead Olympics, and there's a hell of a lot to cover there. And then what? But you know what I mean? Then we're just moving on, and all we've come to is Crackhead Olympics. Yeesh. I'm just saying foodie and beauty. Thank you for the super chat. She needs it for another plane ticket. She certainly does need another plane ticket. She certainly does. <laughs> How's she going to make it though? Blobfish. Thank you again for super chat, but girls, he bought her glasses. Wow. Glasses to fucking get rid of her. It's like his parting gift to her. <laughs> fucking nuts. She's not going back. Well, this is the big debate going on right now. This is why the, the, the thumbnail for today and everything. Carmen Fat Diego. Where is Carmen Fat Diego? Like, there are theories going around on Twitter. Of course, you know how Twitter does, right? <laughs> so is Carmen Fat Diego on her way back? Because what a lot of people are saying on Twitter is that the last time she went silent like this and was only kind of ragey a little bit on the community tab but then didn't post she was traveling that's a theory that i'm hearing a lot i don't think that's true we will do a poll i just want to put forth a little piece of evidence before we do so when we haven't seen her since what thursday now all right i thought where could she be where in the world is carmen fat diego is she possibly traveling so i just went over to have a glance at her one and only friend on this planet earth's channel whose channel I never, ever, ever check up on anymore, unless a case like this comes up. And I happen to notice that, look at that, Pete's has not posted or gone live in a couple of days either. Isn't that strange? What a strange coincidence that neither one of them has. And so I started to wonder, is it possible that they did find a place? Is it possible they're moving this weekend? Is it possible they just spent time looking at places this weekend? On Friday, I didn't think too much about it because we had received that dumping of snow, right? Thursday, Friday, it just fucking snowed. I thought, okay, she's probably snowed in with that car. And that's why she's she's not going live from Schmee's or wherever she's staying, right? Um, she has to be in the car and maybe it was too snowed in and corn to be driving around in the car. Okay. Okay. And then when she pulled this shit on the community tab, it was like, hold on. She's buying herself time away from the internet. Something's going on. So if it isn't the travel, it's got to be some kind of like an apartment. Pete's also busy. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to put up that pool. I want to know what you guys think. Isabella, thank you for the super chat girl. Thanks for being here. I want to catch up on the chat also and see what you guys have to say about this. Glasses so she could see her way back to Canada. Makes sense. Kat, thank you for the super chat. It was probably just a hockey tournament at the arena where she steals free Wi-Fi loiters and live streams from their parking lot. 
But then like she would fit in even more there if it wasn't so empty. It would have been the perfect crime. Uh, May, oh my, thank you for the super chat. Her chat asked for her Amazon wish list too. But what does an addict want? Money. They don't want stuff. She wants the cash. She doesn't want apartment items. Beezers, wake up. Absolutely true. Absolutely true. And, and even in Amazon, like, okay, we're not talking about somebody genuinely in need here. I don't want anyone to misconstrue what I'm saying. Or if we were talking about someone who genuinely didn't have and needed, absolutely put up your fucking Amazon wish list. Okay. This is a woman who a year and a half ago had a fully furnished place. The place was not in her name, but all of the junk in that shithole was hers. She threw it all in the garbage to go and fly to Kuwait and marry a stranger, fake marry a stranger. She had all the things that she would now be e-begging for a year and a half ago, a 40-year-old woman. If you choose to walk away so stupidly, throwing everything away, do you think that the internet owes you a goddamn thing a year and a half later when you need to set up home again because you done fucked up? No. To me, that's not someone in need. That's a fucking idiot who needs to start learning from their goddamn mistakes. So let them struggle. Let them have nothing. She likes to eat off of plastic trays and plastic forks anyway. Let her fat ass sit on the floor while eating out of takeout containers for a while. Let her buy everything new and not while earning $20,000. Then maybe she'll appreciate it next time and she won't just chuck it all out and assume that the world's going to replace it again. Justice for Harry and Julia. Thank you for the super chat. If Foodie's husband is so rich and successful as a businessman, why does she need to e-beg? That's the question. It's not his responsibility, she says. Well, let me tell you something about Arabs. Let me tell you something about the Middle East. Let me tell you something about if this was a genuine marriage. The amount of shame that he would be feeling about his wife going to the internet to e-beg when he's a Kuwaiti seemingly doing so well, this would not be happening. There's no way that an Arab husband would let his wife go to the internet like that and e-beg if he had the money. No, this isn't a real marriage. He doesn't give a shit to spend his money on her. The, the year is up, okay? The, like, the jig is up. He's not getting his fucking papers. He is repulsed by her. Why should he fund her life here? He's incapable of funding her life here. She was giving him a little money. He doesn't have any money to give to her. <laughs> Feral girl, thank you for the super chat. Amber has all but faded out of Girl World. This foodie video. We're, yeah, we're going to need some new people in Girl World because like uh, both irrelevant and boring now. Ay, yeah, ay. ay. Uh, hold on. Just catching up on the chat. Could have had mom's store for her. Exactly. Exactly. Our, back when she was moving, I was screaming it every day at the top of my lungs. Like, why would you throw everything away? Why don't you go and make sure Kuwait works out first? Put some shit in some boxes and bring them to your mother's basement. Well, come on. We, like, we know the, the stepfather doesn't give two shits about her, doesn't want her around, blah, blah, blah. If that was the ask, hey, can I keep about six boxes in your basement? I'm pretty sure they would have said yes. Let's just be real here, you know? She could have kept the six boxes in the backseat of her own fucking Kia. But no. She threw it all away because she's smarter than all of us. And she was sure that this thing was 100%. Joke's on her. Foodie and beauty. Thank you for the super chat. She's out looking for a spatula, she mentioned. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Is she starting up the OnlyFans again? The Ina Garten nasty? Oh, God. I hope not. Oh, Kilari, thank you for the super chat. His friend told us she gave Scat 9K to claim her, right? I don't believe everything that that Allah guy said, but I believe that part. That part makes sense. Exactly, Sarah. Same for his family. No housewarming, no wedding presents, no uh, get togethers during Ramadan, no celebration for their anniversary, nothing. He has a sister. The sister's never been there. The sister's never come over to teach, you know, teach her how to cook, teach her a little of the culture. Nope. Nope. No woman in his entourage ever taught her how to tie a hijab? Nope. They want nothing to do with her. Can't blame them. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Sorry, not sorry. I lost too much weight to be next. Bloop. Bloop. <laughs> Ugh. Why are you obsessed with this girl? Why can't you come up with a better name than one, two, three, four, five, six? Go work on your little creativity, okay? And then you come back here and then you ask stupid questions. Oh, bye. 
the fuck, man? Why are you so insistent, this girl? <clears throat> Didn't you hear that comment in the low BMI? Really annoying voice. I did. Squeaky nips. Thank you for the super chat. Half price, pe- half price, price uh, peeps on sale. Oh God. Maybe that's how she'll try and make a little money. Peeps in a tub. She can't really do that again though, can she? Ironically, I've been to the Costco in the past couple of weeks and you know what's out again? The inflatable hot tub. Now, if you have been around long enough, you remember that at the beginning of Crockett Olympics, when she started the memberships on her channel and the e-begging the last time, I told her, you go to Costco, you get that inflatable hot tub, you fill that motherfucker up with gravy, and you start doing gravy hot tub live streams. The uh, hot tubs are, they're back out at Costco again. I think it's time, fatty. Get your ass to the Costco, get yourself a hot tub, Fill that bitch up with gravy. Get in there and start. Yella, you want to make some money? Nobody says you have to do it nude. It would actually be hilarious to see an abaya and a hijab and you in the gravy. Do it. What are you waiting for? You can't be lazy. You got to do it. <laughs> Fat Cook, thank you for the super chat. Salah, Allah, and Morad took her YouTube play button to sell for scrap metal to have a night out at the Red Room and pl- uh, pay for the Russian girls afterwards. If you think there was enough scrap metal on that piece of shit to have that kind of a night in Kuwait, actually, you might be right. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they took the cock ring wedding. Oh, no, she has it. We've seen it in Canada. Never mind. <laughs> Probably more metal on her ring than on the entirety of the uh, play button. Ms. Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. I don't think she'll fit in the hot tub. Okay, well, she can get like a pool. You know those inflatable pools that they have at like the Walmart and it's for like six people? She would fit in there and there'd still be hella gravy space. She can figure that out. That's, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I No hook box here, Chantal. Absolutely not. Oh, stop, Frenchie. I've been teased for far too long about that hot tub stream. I've just accepted that we're never getting it. I don't know. I never thought we would get it, but like the channel is dying. It's time to get creative. If you're really going to stay in Canada, you're going to have to get creative. I don't know. I don't know. Let's do a poll. Hold on. Hold on. Curious Cat Chats. Thank you for the super chat. Love watching you every day. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. She wouldn't fit in the hot tub. Okay. Okay. Inflatable pool then. I don't care where she is. Just getting something. Fill it up with gravy and shut the hell up. Flail around a little. Tell us a story from your gravy pool, bitch. (laughs) Just saying. Okay. Let's put up a poll. I want to see, what do you guys think? The, the the theories going around on Twitter. Where in the world is Carmen Fat Diego? What do you think is happening? So let me put up the options here. Where is Carmen Fat Diego? And I'm going to keep calling her Carmen Fat Diego because I'm sure she's watching and punching the air every time she hears it. <laughs> uh, where is Carmen Fat Diego? <laughs> how to word this looking or at a new apartment with Pete's on her way back to Kuwait. I've heard another theory and it of course involves Koki that she could be, <laughs> you know, getting that green peen on the purple mattress in Lachine. So we're just going to throw this one here too. Green peen in machine. (laughs) And the fourth one is none. She's being good. No, that's too many words. It doesn't fit. She's staying with Shmi being good. Okay, these are the options. I want to know what you guys think. Where in the world is Carmen Fat Diego? <laughs> ah, I love it. I love it. Uh, I'm not going to taint the poll, so I'm not giving my um, what I think is going on yet. Mm-hmm. Foodie and Beauty, thank you for the super chat. Hope you don't mind. Uh, FFG, check out Septa 7. Okay. ASK, ask, thank you for the super chat. 
Uh, Richard says meow. <laughs> Hello, Richard. <laughs> meow to you too. She hasn't had dick in months. She's definitely in a motel. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, it could be. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> apparently she's not allowed to smoke a schmeeze. So she would be waddling out to the car to like get high in the car, I suppose. And then waddling back inside. But that would be, the, let's say, a reason if she's there and the car, although now, listen, the car, the, the snow has melted. Today, in theory, we could have seen her, right? Yesterday. Yeah, maybe she was snowed in or whatever. So she can't go live, of course, from Shmi's because everyone would recognize it's Shmi's house. And she can't go live from the car because everyone would recognize or some people watching would recognize from what we see out the windows that she's parked at Shmi's house or wherever she may be parked, you know. Hmm. Sitting in pizza's sex tub getting high. <laughs> Koki's last live stream says Key is spotted in Lachine. Yeah, because he's a little bitch. And uh, his channel also has been dead for a long ass time. And any chance he gets to bring her up like in any way to, you know what I mean? For the clickbait and stuff, that's what he does. The fact that he wrote that in his title to me means she was definitely not in Lachine. And I don't think she was in Lachine anyway. I've told you guys this. So many times, um, I don't think she's going to go. She won't go there until it's 100% done with Salad because that would possibly be the nail in the coffin of her fake relationship with Salad. I think she'll go back to, to you know, I don't know, raging about Koki or driving to Lachine and stuff, but only when it's really, really done. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, hard disagree. I much prefer Mr. Snowflake stock. <laughs> big, big, big. That's just me. <laughs> she definitely still got it bad for Koki, right? But but holding on to salad at this point and the whole fake marriage and blah, blah, blah. It's like more important to her. In my opinion. Let's see y'all's opinion. Let's end the poll, okay? Vote now or forever hold your peace. We don't really know what happened with his court case because nobody was able to get into the virtual court. So nobody heard like, when's the next, I don't want to say installment, but when's the next appearance? Uh, you know, we don't know. Basement baby, thank you for the super chat. Don't tell hijab, but I'm about to go on vacay. Oh, have a great vacation. Okay, I won't tell hijab cheese. Let her just, she'll be like, where are you? Basement baby. <laughs> she'll think you have escaped. Hmm. Okay, let's end the poll. Let's see where you guys think she is. All right, where is Carmen Fat Diego? Looking at or at a new apartment with Pete's, 53%. On her way back to Kuwait, 25%. She's staying with Shmi and being good, 12%. Green Peen and Lachine, 9%. Very, very interesting. My vote is that she is looking for a place with Pete's and she's been busy with Pete's looking for the place or figuring out at least what the fuck they're going to do for a place. Like, can he even rent in his own name at this point? I don't fucking know. I don't know if they know either. So maybe they've been trying to figure that out for the last few days. I find it kind of sus that Pete's hasn't gone live in, in the two days. Also, it's a little too convenient. Very good. Thank you for the super chat. You know she's watching. Hell yeah, she is. <laughs> uh, who are the 12%? Beezers stand up. I don't know. Maybe people who genuinely do believe she's just snowed in. Legit snowed in at her mom's and so can't go live over there. Hmm. Her bestie Pete's the man she should not live with. <laughs> it's not good for either one of them. We all know that, but... For us, for the audience, for the show, I'd rather she be living with Pete's than with tall Pete's in Kuwait, you know? Wait, Shmi is signing or co-signing for the apartment for her. Um, if she does that, she really is Chantal's mother. Like, <laughs> Can you imagine having a kid, I, or having it anyone? I don't give a shit if it's your kid. Two bankruptcies, never does anything if it's not totally impulsive without thought and 
can't rent a place in her own name in a shithole's town like Cornwall, and she's going to rent for her? That's insanity. Here's what I can tell you about, like, Cornwall, even Montreal, like, anywhere, anywhere, okay? Most places, yeah, you're going to have to do, like, credit checks and, and uh, you know, give a huge deposit when you move in and stuff. Most places. That's not everywhere. Definitely not everywhere. There are places here, there are places, dumps in Cornwall too, where you can definitely rent without a credit check. If you needed a credit check to rent, not everybody would have places. You know what I mean? There'd be hella more people on the street. There are definitely places you can rent without that, but they're going to suck. Like they're not going to be as good as places that would run a credit check. It's, it is what it is. And they tend to take advantage of people and kind of jack the rents up in places like that too, because they know that the people renting there don't really have a choice. I think they'll get stuck in a situation like that. Foodie and beauty. Thank you for the super chat. That's your opinion. I prefer Mr. Snowflake, but to each their own bees and let bees. Kim T. Thank you for the super chat girl. I appreciate it. She's her daughter. Oh, also has a chance. What? Oh, okay. Sorry. I thought you were talking about Shmi. Shmi might have to sign for her to get Chantal out of the house. To save Shmi's marriage. Now that is interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Might be worth it for her. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh my God. Listen, I, I have no idea how it is in Ontario. I also have no idea how it would be in a small town like Cornwall. In Montreal, I can only speak for Montreal. That shit takes years. You put yourself on a list. And it's years. If you have kids and stuff, they make you wait years until you get it. It's ridiculous. Uh, X table. Thank you for the super chat. I sure as hell not give her another hamster. Oh, for real, for real. No more hamsters. Hamsters done. No, no, no. All pets. She shouldn't have any more fucking pets. Does her stepdad hate her? I mean, we don't, we, we don't know that for sure. But there's definitely a very weird dynamic between them that leads you to believe that, yeah, the guy doesn't fucking like her. The stepdad has been her stepdad since since she's like six years old. Six years old. That's not something new. That's not, you know what I mean? That's somebody who helped raise you. That's someone who's been there almost your whole life. And there's such a distance between them and the way she refers to him as my sister's dad. And so uh, there's a grudge there, in my opinion, because her sister got to grow up with her father in the home and she didn't and stuff. Chantal was horrible to her little sister growing up by her own admission. The bullying of her sister, it, it was ridiculous, apparently, like way over the top. Maybe that guy doesn't like this fucking pig bitch bullying his little baby daughter. You know what I mean? She was 11 years older with an attitude like hell and stuff. I can't really blame him. Parry Pixie, thank you for the super chat. No landlord is going to want tenants that smell like garlic bologna and blue cheese. I mean, in an ideal world, <laughs> you're right. But what they want is money. So I'm, I'm telling you, if they, if they get a place where they're not checking, you know, your rental history or, or your credit, at least, you know, it's going to be bad. That weird guy, Justin, thank you for the super chat. Maybe someone help her. Nice blonde. Oh, murdered. You think so? <laughs> I mean, it could be. Anything is possible, to be honest. Kalari, thank you again for the super chat. Chantal could have benefited from my family. Taught you how to earn your own tough love, but real love without coddling. Well, well yeah, I mean, it's almost anyone's family. Not too many people grow up like Chantal does. Thank God for that. Can you imagine the world full of that? Rachel, thank you for the super chat. Pete's would be stupid to get another place with her uh, to get screwed when she leaves. And what will Salad think of this? I don't think Salad gives a shit because like it's done. Uh, but yeah, Pete's would absolutely be a fucking moron to do it again. But Pete's is the moron who would do it again. He was asked recently in a live stream, like, would you be her roommate again? And it was like, well, yeah, but it's like, it's up to her. He would love to. It's my friend. Oh, Pete's makes me so sick. Oh, maybe they're ending their dry smells together. Sperm everywhere. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Oh, I don't want to picture it. Pete's will never learn. 
just like she will never learn. These two morons truly deserve each other in life. They are, to a certain extent, the same moron. Just she will take advantage of him until he's got nothing left. And then he won't be useful to her anymore. And then she won't be his friend. How sad. <sighs> so that's it. We wait. We wait waiting for her. She thinks she has uh, punished the community by going silent for a few days. All I know is we had a nice little weekend off of her face. I have no regrets. I'm glad. I wish she would take more weekends off like this. It was nice. Not kidding. <laughs> Chantal, it's summer now. Take more weekends off. Give everybody a little, little time away from you. Then maybe when you come back, you'll have something worth a damn to talk about. I bet not. But in theory, you could. <laughs> Y'all, to, uh, to end tonight's stream, what we're going to be reacting to tonight is by popular request. Uh, Y'all wanted to watch the Cooking With My Annoyed Boyfriend, LOL, video. This is a video from way back in the past. This is her cooking with BB. She's sweating. It's a whole mess. He is like annoyed as all hell. Remember, he never, ever, ever wanted to be on camera and wanted nothing to do with her channel. But for her, he did it sometimes because he will forever be the one that got away and the only one who actually loved her. Bloop. Uh, foodie and beauty. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, there's no spare room here. I got no spare room and over my dead body. Absolutely fucking lutely not. How, can she stay in your spare room? Hmm? How about that? Hmm? <laughs> All right. So yeah, we're going to watch that. And then we're going to watch Keto Costco Hall Canada. Come shop with me and Rena. So basically, we're looking back at two little moments of history tonight. One where she had a man who loved her and would claim her publicly. And one where she actually had a friend. Ah, hold on, let me get the tab. Oh, we're starting with the cooking one. It's the one I'm waiting to watch. Woo! Hey guys, welcome to Cooking with BB. <laughs> Today we're going to be making Senegalese dish called mafe, and it is a um, peanut butter stew like type sauce. So what you're going to need for this, and there's so many different kinds of recipes and ways to make this, but this is the way we make it. We kind of do a simple one. You can add so many more vegetables. Um, we are going. You're absolutely right. BB did not love her for the last few years. They were done. They were living like platonic roommates. It was over. She ruined it because there was a time way back. He loved her. He genuinely loved her. There was genuine like chemistry between them and he was very very good to her bellini thank you for the super chat i'm going to add some carrots probably about three carrots chopped up some scotch i think these are scotch bonnet peppers i'm i gotta fix the tab that back neck this fucking basement baby thank you for the super chat appreciate it Oh, I swear to God, it's every time now. Fuck. All natural peanut butter. You do need the all natural peanut butter. Um, some minced garlic, a can of tomato paste. I prefer the original, but I accidentally picked up Italian herbs. So some black pepper, two potatoes. Um, I'm probably not going to use all of this onion. I'm probably going to use half of onion. It could be any type of onion. And I'm going to use three boneless skinless chicken breasts. Now, most people who make this dish use bone in, but this is just the chicken I have on hand right now. So, And we're going to use two cubes of jumbo which is just like, it's a type of seasoning, stock cube. You can get these um, in African or Caribbean stores, I think. Um, I know in African stores for sure, you can African grocery store. And I'm gonna use this to grind the, the cube up. And we're gonna use some peanut oil to, you know, just, <laughs> peanut oil is what we always use for this type of dish. So so these are the ingredients you're gonna need for that. So let's get cooking. <laughs> oh God. Okay, so first step we do is, we add the chicken breast. This is like cooking ASMR on uh, medium high heat. Ah, I was gonna say that does not sound like medium high heat. Why does everyone in Chantopolis cook everything on max all the time? My anxiety. Woo! She who shits herself. Thank you for the super chat. Yes, we can. In the peanut oil. And we're going to cook it on both sides. 
until it's brown, right, babe? Yeah. Baby's cooking. <laughs> so we're just going to um, cook this and then eat it. And uh, I'll be back whenever the chicken's brown. Ooh, yum. Look how brown those chicken baby breasts are getting. <laughs> and see the little, at the bottom, that's all flavor town, man. I know it looks like a lot of oil, but <laughs> the juices from the chicken are mixing with that. Oh, <laughs> I wish you could smell this place right now. It smells good. Eh? It's literally just a chicken breast, like unseasoned chicken breast in oil. I wish you could smell this place right now. Okay, there, relax. Grievered Flowers, thank you for the super chat. He definitely did. Hey, babe. <laughs> Thanks for cooking. Mmm, <laughs> yeah. We're almost done. Are we going to need two cans of tomato paste? Yeah. Now we're just going to add the chopped onions to the chicken. He did drain out a little bit of the oil. No, they, that's it. There's nothing at all wrong with BB. Nothing. And he was just so well adjusted compared to everyone else that's ever been in her entourage. He had gone to school. He worked full time, like a hard worker, would come home, cook and clean the house. He had a circle of friends. They used to go out and stuff. He would have, you know, his phone would ring every once in a while and it would just be a friend to like shoot the shit. The most well adjusted character that has ever existed in her orbit. Um, oh, smells so good. There's a um, minced garlic there on the in the jar. I'll put in. There's garlic there in the jar. I'm not a great cameraman. <laughs> Add a little bit of minced garlic. Here, taste. Everything is. Yes. In my opinion, he was over her at this point already. I just clicked, look, it's October 16th, 2017. Um, there, There's already a shift in between. The, at the beginning of her channel, uh, or of the videos that I have, let's say, from the archive of her channel, it's back at the beginning of 2017, and they're high as a kite together, and he's do doing her makeup. And you could tell that they were still together in that video. They're having a good time. They're like the chemistry is still there. He's uncomfortable. He doesn't want to be doing the video. You can tell that. But I mean, he's playing along. They're laughing the way they're looking at each other. You could tell that it was still, there was still something there, right? But from what I've heard from Jenna, what killed this relationship was the YouTube because there was so much kind of deceit and crap going on at the time. When she started her YouTube, she had just been fired from her job. She was lying to BB about looking for a job. She wasn't presently looking for a job. She was trying to make her YouTube channel take off so that she wouldn't have to go back to work. And he was like pushing her to go back to work. And she was lying to him the whole time about even looking, right? As YouTube starts taking off, her ego starts to go insane. And this psycho Chantal was like born. And that is not the person that BB had gotten with bb got with that like tee super t just a totally different person who was working who was mobile who things changed and i notice here it's still 2017 it's the same year but you can see the way even he looks at her and stuff that chemistry between them has died he's already so fed up with her at this point fed up of the fucking youtube the camera the videos that uh he's done to your taste, I mean, you can add as many onions, as much garlic, as much everything you want, pretty much, with any of these ingredients. I'm going to go chop the potatoes and carrots. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Hell yeah, Blackfish. Thank you for the super chat. Exactly. Just, she only cares about food. This is me very well, but I'm just going to be chopping the uh, onions and potato, uh, carrots and potatoes to go in the sauce. So, just give me a minute. I know I'm weird. All right. Chop. Okay, like, even a moment like that, I know it's fucked, but that stupid knife thing that she just did, wee, 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 wee. 
they're both blitzed. You can tell that he has smoked. Okay. <laughs> they used to smoke a weed together. Even if you don't think that's funny and you're a partner, but you're like still in love with your partner. When she does something that stupid and you're high, you're going to giggle and you're going to think in your head like, wow, she's such a moron. But like what? In a loving way, you know, like <laughs> that's my moron. She's so embarrassing. There would have been some little smirk and there was nothing. He just looks over like this fucking idiot. Get out of the kitchen, you know, done with her. When you don't find your partner's little quirks like that, like cute anymore, no matter how obnoxious they are, it's over. Chop, chop. I did wash these vegetables, but I don't peel them. Uh, do I need to peel the potatoes? So we're going to chop. The good thing about mafe is you can have big chunks of vegetables, like... Usually they put just big chunks of vegetables. You don't have to cut them too small because you want them to withstand the cooking, you know? Um, the potatoes. Oh, right there. So I'm just going to put the lid just let everything cook together for now. And so the potatoes, we're just going to cut into pieces like that. Cooperation makes it happen. Cooperation, working together, dig it. Your hair is in the potatoes and you're losing hella hair. So it's fair to assume that you lost a few hairs in that fucking pile of vegetables. Disgusting, Chantal. Step back. Did you guys ever watch that on Sesame Street? Okay, so we have that. I want fruit flies getting to our stuff. Be careful with big kitchen knives. Okay, we'll be back, guys, in a few minutes. All right, so we're just going to add some jumbo seasoning. He's adding it now. Not all, of it. Not all of it, just some of it. So just half now. Oh, my God. Yeah, D, I try. Thank you for the super chat. It's pretty gross when you're in, like, up close cooking like that. You got those raggedy nails. Ugh. That looks so good. Again, this is there's so many different ways. I mean, his mom and sister, you know, they've been making mafe in Senegal for years and years. They're just, you know, <laughs> I'm I've never before I met him, I've never made this, so I can't compare it to their cooking, you know. <laughs> but we're gonna put the lid on for a few minutes and uh, yeah. No, just anything. This is my kitchen. <laughs> it's not the cleanest kitchen and there's like fruit flies, but you know. <laughs> yes. Oh, and BB Jeans used the litter box. How nice. <laughs> Bee. Bee. Hi, Bee. Look at this pretty girl, everybody. BB Jeans. BB Jeans. BB Jeans. She's so cute and so respectful. She's like, oh, I won't come in the kitchen. You're busy cooking. Let me stay out of the way. Now he's mixing, is that the whole can? Yeah. Of tomato paste. <clears throat> you can add it. He does at this point already, eh? Dead girl, thank you for the super chat. Totally a broken man. Yeah. Oh, how sad. As much tomato paste as you want. We use one can. If you want it to be more tomato-y, Maybe add a second can. Uh, if put too much tomato, it's gonna be acid. It's gonna be acidy. Yeah, cause tomato paste is really acidy. So, but some people really like really tomatoey things. We don't like the really acidy tomato taste too much. So, but cooking it the way we're gonna cook it here will help reduce some of that acid. So, oh yeah, baby. And it's gonna mix with all the oils. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So I'm just going to mix it around, put the lid on, let it cook for a little bit. I'm just realizing also, like, part of why he probably looks so pissed off right now. I bet you he's done a day's work. He's come home and all he wanted to do was cook his fucking food to sit down and eat. And she's like, oh, I'm going to film you. I'm going to make it into a video, you know. And that's probably why he also looks extra annoyed tonight. Like, can you just leave me the fuck alone? <laughs> Queen Red, thank you for the super chat. Man was dying inside. Hell yeah. Look, 
looks good, babe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Adding more water? I didn't even catch that. That's what she corrected it to? Acididic? Acididic. Isn't it just acidic? <laughs> Fucking English major. <laughs> Those two years slash weeks of university really did her some good, huh? Are you a big boy or are you a big girl? No one knows. What are you? A big boy, big boy. Big boy, big girl. Oh. <laughs> Building a mystery. Holding on. Holding it in. <laughs> oh my God. For, for real, for real. He is a saint. <laughs> this man is a saint. She's so annoying. She just won't let him fucking cook in peace. Is he now washing the dishes too? Because God forbid. He's cooking the food. She couldn't stand there and clean, and clean the dishes. He's now washing the dishes, and she's standing at the kitchen doorway singing at him. Just get the get the fuck away from the door. Get away. Hi. Exactly. That look, get the fuck out of here. And she goes, hi. <laughs> what are you doing? It's weird being on camera, isn't it? <laughs> I love it. You know, some people just don't like being on camera, but I'm not one of those. There's a fruit fly. See it, guys? Let's name it. <laughs> Babe, we named the bugs in our house. We always name the bugs in our house. Do you like the wreath on my door, guys? I uh, got it at Pier 1 when it was on sale, and I've had it on my door all season, all year, all seasons. So <laughs> I'm one of those people that don't take things down. So, yeah. So it's just. See, I don't get that vibe from him at all. I always got suicidal, not homicidal from BB. He wouldn't hurt her. He'll hurt himself. It's cooking away, getting ready to add those veggies. Oh, yeah. So uh, we're just putting the veggies in. BB is peeling the potatoes because he he does not like the peel on potatoes. But I do. I don't mind. <clears throat> but I guess in this dish, it's better. So by helping him chopping the veggies, you've actually made it more difficult for him now to remove the peel of the potatoes. So when you try to help, you actually just make things worse. <laughs> just shut up and leave. See, Pat Basbord, thank you for the super sticker. Without the peel. But again, it's pretty much to your preference. So, you know. Hi, Sam. Sam, Sam. Oh, hi. I <laughs> swiper right now. Oh, big boy. Are you a big boy? Are you a big boy? Or are you a big girl? Nobody knows, do they? Nobody knows. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I always get distracted by cats. I'm a crazy cat lady. What can I say? <laughs> so, we've added the veggies. We're going to add more water to cover the veggies. You can add as much water as you like. It depends how soupy you like your mafe. We like ours more on the thick side. So, and the um, we poked holes all throughout the chicken breast. The chicken breasts are going to absorb all that flavor. Mm. Very simple dish, but uh, it's very delicious. Yeah, you have to put, don't you put more water when you put the peanut butter, though? Yes. So put enough water at least to cover the veggies and cook them, you know? So now we just let this cook for, you're going to put the water and cover it and let it uh, cook until the vegetables are tender, and then you're going to come back and put the peanut butter. Okay, we're getting ready to add the PB, PB and J. No, just the PB. Oh, oh look at that. <laughs> That's my new favorite voice, guys. Oh, it's demonic. Perfect for Halloween. Yeah, I hate that too. Oh, we're going to do this and we're going to do that. Now, bitch, you just step aside. Step, let, it, let him do his thing. You are going to eat it, okay? Until then, shh. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to add some all-natural baby. Oh, and in the meantime, guys, we have our big pot of jasmine rice cooking. That is our favorite rice. It's like a long-grain white rice, pretty much. Yes. Maybe I'm not rice. Okay. So we're going to add some peanut butter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Every time he would make this, I would want to make it. And I never made it. And now I really want to make it. It looks so good. Hmm. CPAP Passport, thank you for the super chat. Sam looks already matted. Yeah. 
Sam did look pretty matted and Sam looks so young. So it's like, have those mats just been growing with him since he was little? Mmm, creamy goodness. I have not eaten since... I had some leftover of that lentil lasagna with some uh, side salad. Two squares of uh, dark chocolate. And that's it. I'm saving my calories for this meal. Mmm. So I think you just put a saving all my calories. Bullshit. She probably shoving in an entire pizza into her gullet before he got home from work. Saving all my calories. Chantal has no business eating a stew like this. It's way too many calories. All that peanut butter and this last stuff. And then the rice on top. This is for somebody who works. This is not good for her. Well, she's going to eat it. Look how excited she is just because there's a pot of food. Blob fish. Thank you for the super chat. That's right. One job fucks it up, and then makes it more complicated for him to do. A couple of tablespoons. Um, are you going to add more water? Yeah. And add, uh, I think we've added about two or three cups, about three cups of water so far. So he's going to add probably about another cup. We just eyeball. We really don't measure things. We, we, we. When have you ever eyeballed anything? Except for other people's plates of food. You can't cook for shit. He eyeballs because he does all his own cooking and he has made this before. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> so about four cups of water total. And uh, then we're just gonna cover the uh, the stuff up guys and let it cook. Uh, um, we're gonna reduce the heat and let it cook yeah. for about, I'd say about what, 20 minutes, give or take. Yeah. You'll know when it's ready. The um, oil will separate on the top. You'll see what I mean by that. I'll show you when it's ready, guys. <laughs> it's splattered everywhere. But Did you hear the sound that she just made? She just had a full-on orgasm just because he lifted the lid off of the pot of food. But it's done. So we're just going to skim a little bit of the oil off the top. Um, once you stir it in, you know, it mixes, but... Um, now we're going to eat, guys. Hi, guys. What's up, guys? We are going to eat this delicious mafe. Look at that. That's one of my... Um, the peppers are just a garnish, but they were cooking in the sauce. So, and I have stream beans, pickles, and Harry Bush. <laughs> okay, so we're... So, the cats are being... Oh, she keeps touching her hair. It's it's making me want to puke every time she does. And she's so sweaty. You would think she she didn't do anything. He did all the cooking and the cleaning up. And she's the one sweating and like a wreck. Stop touching your hair. For God's sakes, man. So traditionally in Senegal and in other African countries too, you eat off the same big plate. Yeah. Like there's one big plate of food made for the whole family and for friends and neighbors who come and eat, right? And they invite everybody to eat. They're so generous in this. <laughs> and everybody just eats, you know? But if I go into your spot, is that rude? Yes. <laughs> okay, can I have the uh, Maggi or um, the Bragg's soy? We're going to spray. Do you want some on yours? Yeah. This is that. So She's so rude. Give me the spray. Okay. Do you want some on yours? Yes. She sprays down her part of the plate first and then does his. She's such a dick. Just every way, even the littlest tiny ways that someone can be an asshole, she's an asshole. Uh, 12 chins of thunder. Thank you for the super chat. I'm saving all my chins for you. Well, <laughs> lucky me. <laughs> Pixie, thank you for the super chat. I hate how she claims over three quarters of the food. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> he, he knows he will. He probably goes and has to make himself another plate after. Fuck. Racha. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Let's try. Got to give them a beauty bite. So let me just get that. Beauty bite. Oops. Ah! Oh. Mm -hmm. Good heart. Yeah. Mm. Mm. You guys, I wish you could 
eat this. <laughs> like, or well, if you know of a restaurant that put this, go to it. Yeah, if you have any. So, okay. Is Matt based on a Belish dish or is it from another place? It's West African, right? Yeah, but the thing is, they have a lot of spinach. So, Senegal country, has peanuts? Yeah. A country Let him talk. She, he gets out two words and boom, she's got them off. They're spraying, um, you know, Bragg's. Uh, it's often in like a bottle you drip out, but they have a spray of it. It's like a liquid amino stuff. I have a lot of peanuts. Level up a way to cook food with it. Mm. Some of them are mafe. Another country too has mafe, like Mali. Mali? Yeah. But it's okay, he has a pretty obviously a thick accent, and then um his second language is French. So English is his third language. So I'm just going to translate a little bit for anybody who missed that. Just that he's, she's completely uninterested in his story, by the way. Although she did ask the question about, is this a Senegalese thing? And he's saying, no, it's West African, specifically the countries that grow a lot of peanuts, like Senegal and Mali. Okay. She's all just eating her pickle, not even looking at him. Like, so much more interested in the food than the conversation. Imagine this is the one and only time he sat with her ate a meal with her on camera like this. She couldn't even make eye contact with him. Delulu, thank you for the super chat, girl. Kind of the same way, but still different. Sometimes they have, they say they have a real mother. Sometimes they do. They don't know. Do you know what they do different than this one? Mm, maybe they will put more water. But in Senegal, you very rarely eat your chicken without bones, right? What? Like you would use chicken with a bone in. Yeah, because the chicken. Yeah, and Chantal, that's most places outside of North America, just so you're clear. Capricorn NJ, thank you for the super chat. I was just thinking Milan BB, James Peets, Koki, Dom. Did she ever give Salad a nickname? Not that we know of. <laughs> that's okay. We The community gave him one for her. Scatman, it works. Salad, it works. You know. But yeah, that's right. It's the only one so far. No nickname. It's still there. It's, uh, here, there. And even if it comes with, uh, even if it comes to this, for them, still uh, have the bone. I guess now you can find some with that bone. Doesn't matter. Though. Most people have their own chickens, like, or does your mom have you know what's really fucked too? I'm sorry for the quick pauses. I just realized her French is so shitty and she loves to call herself bilingual. She was with BB for seven years. French is his second language. If they had spoken French in the home, can you imagine how much stronger her French would be? She would be good in French if they, you know, she had like at home spoken French for seven years. Woo, missed opportunity, too lazy. Feral girl, thank you for the super chat. Sweating directly in front of the AC. Oh shit, yeah, you're right. Yeah, but not everybody. You have chicken to sell. Oh, okay. Yeah. But she doesn't have her own chickens like for eggs and things? No, not for eggs. And in Senegal, you go walk to the market pretty much every day, right? To get your food? Yeah. The only thing you buy for the month is probably rice, sugar, oil, stuff like that. But uh, for the legume and everything, rice, maybe a meat, you can froze it. And then where do you buy the, where do you buy vegetables? For the market. Or what, one of the thing is, sometimes they have an electricity cut, so you gotta have everything fresh. Because if you... Great question. Delulu, thank you for the super chat. Um, he didn't want to marry her, she, so she didn't have to, you know? And he also was not practicing. He didn't give a shit if she was Muslim. He didn't give a shit if she wore a hijab, uh, participated in Ramadan. You know, he was non-practicing. Freeze it. He might go back. Yeah. I see.
Mm. Whatever. Do you remember? When's the first time I ate this here? You told me about it. He put a little word in my ear about mafe, this mafe, and I made it. We made it one night, and ever since then, I've been in love with mafe. <laughs> like, mm. can we tell them? She came up with BB from Habibi. About the little, can you tell them the little riddle about mafe makes you fart? Mm. No. no. Apparently it does though, right, or something? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't doesn't do that to me, but. Oh, it's basically peanut so. Ooh, spicy. So delicious. You really made it well. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, DG. I think Pooh Boy is non practicing as well. I think Pooh Boy uses manipula um, religion to manipulate, just like Chantal kind of used it on him to manipulate. He wants, let's say, to fuck around and be hacham, but also wants a, a woman who's a hijabi and stuff. So, you know what I mean? There's a certain. I don't know, hypocrisy in his practicing, but I still don't really hold it against him because he was born into it. And I'm never going to judge someone who was born into a religion the same way I'll judge someone who chooses to join in at almost 40 years old, you know? Lori, thank you for the super chat. His face says it all. He finds her so repulsive. He, it, at this point, was, yeah, I think sickened by her and the whole situation. It's the camera in his face thing. He doesn't want it. Why did she always have to push things on people when they don't want it? You know, I, I don't know. He doesn't want to be doing this. He he can't stand the person she's become because of this YouTube. Uh, Cherry, thank you for the super chat. I speak Arabic with my hub of 20 years. He blames me for not helping him learn English and his accent is very heavy. It's all my fault, LOL. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, it is cute. Gumbo? You like gumbo? Gumbo is okra. Okra. Okay. Yeah, you can. I think we had some frozen okra. I wish we would have added some. Oh, I did? Yeah. Was it in the freezer for a long time? Yeah. Get some more. Another thing you can do. I don't know. No BS to be honest. I, I don't really know. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, it's a good question. I, I don't know. What I do know is that he wants lots of kids and she couldn't get pregnant long before she had her um, hysterectomy. You know what I mean? So that was never going to work out between them. And it seemed like a deal breaker for him. Like he, he wants a lot of kids. He's not uh, pretending not to like salad does, you know? Right. If you don't like how slimy okra is, you can fry it. So you slice it up, dredge it in flour, salt, and pepper, and then fry it. Uh, you don't like it that way? Mm. <laughs> I like fried stuff. Mm. I told you. Putting okra in. Mm -hmm. the taste A little bit, eh? Mm -hmm. Sam, he's attacking baby chairs. Not attacking, but annoying. <laughs> Sam's attacking BBJ in the background. Who was the first one to react? Did you see that? But she would like hold it against him. Like he didn't love cats the way I love cats. You were so into the plate of food in front of you that BB was the one who snapped at the cat to stop it. And then you're Sam. Yeah. And I saw that, but he didn't care, right? You care. Oh, you care so much about those cats. El Ismay, thank you for the super chat. Yes, sh shovel in more with every bite. Thanks for doing this with me, Dan. You're welcome. Congrats on having 15 k Thank you. 
See, he doesn't want to be there at all. He's miserable as all hell, and he's still being nice. He did it for her. God damn it. He doesn't want to. And at the end of that, well, th thank you for doing this with me. Blah, blah, blah. Congratulations on 15K. Oh. Ah, can't believe that we're doing it, girl. It means a lot. <laughs> this past year, in January, will be one year where I've done uh, YouTube videos. I've had a YouTube account for a while, but mostly just to watch videos, like a lot of you. But um, January will be one year where I actually, those fruit flies, um, need to get rid of No, it's the other way around. She cheated on Pete's with BB. Somehow. Where I made videos, it'll be one year anniversary. So I comment below some ideas that I could do, but don't say like 10K, 10,000 calorie challenge or something, because that's not going to happen. Um, Girls, I know some yeah. ideas that something, some things that I could do for that, you know? One year YouTube anniversary. <laughs> Whenever I left my job, I was so depressed and unsure about my future. And then just doing YouTube has really kept me, has just, I've met so many people and it's just really been a, a new experience for me. It's really, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> but yeah oh no 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 guys y'all she never cheated on bb with pete's she peed she peed oh god she cheated on pete's with bb i wish you guys could really be here and eat this with us or your sister would have been nice for her to be here eh? hmm. yeah. The sister works very hard. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. Ooh. That was a big plate we had. Not really. This was kind of our first big meal of the day. He knew what she was going to answer to that. Oh, this is a really big plate. Are you full? He says, not really. Well, there you go. Skadoosh. Thank you for the super chat. My cousin was one of those soldiers who married a Korean, married 25 years. Yet he didn't speak Korean. She didn't speak English. They used the kids to speak to each other. That is really odd. Wow. All those years. And you don't, you don't, wow. Okay. I guess to each their own, you know, that's. But the, the bonus to that is that the kids speak all the languages, you know? I guess that's that. Huh. Tay Ozzy, thank you for the super chat. I'm supposed to be... Go and study. Oh, my God. It's going to be our last. Right? Well, yeah. Are you going to bring some to work tomorrow? Maybe. So what... Let me ask you this. What is the one major thing that you miss about Senegal? About the lifestyle? Like, besides your family. I know you miss your family. The major thing. Everything. So what are some things? Like, whenever you think of Senegal, you think you miss. Um, you know. Some milk type shows. What do you, like, miss, you know? What I miss? Yeah. milk type shows. That's not, ça se dit pas comme ça, tabarnak. That's not even how you say. She tries to say, quand tu manques quelque chose. Five words and she fucked it up. Si quelque chose te manque. C'est pas si tu manques quelque chose. Si quelque chose te manque, dumbass. Oh. Hanging out with family? Friends? Exactly, Delulu. Thank you for the Super Jack World. There's some nice beaches there, right? Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Island, yeah. Island. Mm, yeah, but mostly inside the country. Like you have Cap Spring in the south. You have uh Sally Portugal. Southwest, southwest, yeah. And uh I mean, move. Oh yeah? yeah. That's one of the most uh, visited places. 
Mm. Oh, that's funny. He just said that they have really nice beaches, but the way he said it with his accent, it sounded kind of like bitches. And immediately she did an eye shift. Trying to figure out, did he say bitches or was that beaches? The jealousy immediately she did an eye shift to the side. He said beaches. If he, why am I, I'm listening to every word of his story? So I knew it, the word was beaches. He was talking about going to the beach. She's not listening to him. And so the word bitches just set off the jealousy alarm in her head because she wasn't listening to the rest of his story. What a schmuck, man. Pay attention to him. What's wrong with you? CPAP passport. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, okay. Do the washing. These are just um, dill pickle sandwich pickles. <laughs> Strubs. Pickles. Ooh. Mm -hmm. oh, maybe one more bite. <laughs> it's too good. The thing is, if you eat like that with someone, it's not like eating a lot. You will eat more, but probably you will eat more if you go around. Yeah. All that time, you can eat. It looked like a lot of food, but I spread the rice out like I measured. Spread it out. Sammy. Being a bad boy. <laughs> Whew, man, that was really, really good. Yes. Okay. She cheated on them both. I'm not saying she didn't cheat on BB. We established this, but she didn't cheat on BB with Pete's. She cheated on Pete's with BB. She left Pete's and went and lived with BB. And then, according to her stories, she cheated on BB also with multiple people. Not with, like, she didn't cheat with Pete's again. Since then, she says she hasn't slept with Pete's. Hi, Shan. She's so gross. Oh. Did you, um... Here, come here. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> he mooned you. The way she keeps looking at that plate, like, for real, for real. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, we need a diagram of the cheating tree. That's funny. Ew. And gross. <laughs> She is watching that plate every bite. Somebody had put in the chat, but then I moved too fast. Like, let the skinny man eat the food. Like, what's the matter with you? She won't stop eyeballing it. Let him. There's like just a few bites left on that. He worked all day. He cooked the food. He cleaned the kitchen. Let him fucking eat his food. She keeps looking at the food, looking at him, looking at the food, looking at him. Leave him alone. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. We've never heard those names or stories, though. We've heard the stories, not names, but we have heard stories of the cheating, who she cheated with BB with. I just don't know if I believe those stories because those stories were kind of weak. And when she, you know, really tells a story that happened, you can usually tell when she's telling a true story. I don't necessarily believe that she cheated on BB. Sammy, this big cat butt was right there. Some people are going to be like, ew. <laughs> I love it. I like grossing people out. It's not very nice, is it? <clears throat> so we just cleaned today. BB's playing. What video game are you playing? Battlefield. Battlefield 3? Is that the newest one? That's my first time playing. I want to play the video game for you guys, but I can't find my glasses. So when I find my glasses... I can't play without my glasses. That's why I haven't been playing. So I apologize about that. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I guess we'll go. You know, I don't have to wait till the last grain of rice is eaten. So uh, thanks for watching, Foodie Beauties. And see you guys. Thanks for 15K. And uh, comment below what you want me to do for my one-year YouTube anniversary in January. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye,
BB's friends and stuff. This is like a BB soiree. She was out of the house with her man's welcome somewhere. This is nice. This doesn't happen to her anymore. You know, BB was willing to claim her publicly. You come with me and my friends and stuff. He was just so well adjusted compared to anyone that's ever been in her orbit. Oh my God. Um, the whole, um, him cheating or her cheating on Pete's cheating on BB. Da, da, da. A major part of why I never believed the stories about her cheating on BB was the way she told the story. When she tells us the story and she's told it multiple times of cheating on Pete's with BB, the way she tells that story, you know that that story is true. Every detail she'll tell. I mean, I, I think we heard what knob, what was the color of the button of the door to get in his front door. And so I like every sick detail of their whole night together from when she pulled up in front in her car. We know the other stories of her cheating. It's so very like yada, yada, you know? So I met these guys, yada, yada. I end up cheating on BB. Like, no, I'm sorry. I don't believe your stories. You would have told us every sick little detail. Just like you told us the night that you cheated on Pete's every sick little detail. I'll never buy it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. On Pete's absolutely. She cheated on Pete's. And I don't want to say good for her on cheating on Pete's, but getting with BB, leaving Pete's for BB, that was definitely a good move. That's what I will say on that. But I don't condone anyone cheating on anyone, you know? No. All right. <clears throat> so that was when she had a man. Let's go back to when she had a friend who was willing to appear with her on camera. Keto Costco Hall, Canada. Come shop with me and Rena. Woo. This is July 22nd, 2019. Wow. It doesn't even seem like that long ago, right? Right before the penny. And she still had a friend. My, have things have changed. Well, guys, my breakfast or first meal of the day is kind of deja vu from yesterday, but I had two leftover turkey sausages. Kenzie, thank you so, so much for the super chat. Thank you for coming out of the shadows. Uh, thanks for being here, girl. And I put some of that aioli on it and two eggs scrambled this time. Oh, this is every time we start a fucking video. Now this is pissing me off. <sighs> Pretty much the whole day. So, bon appetit. What are you doing, Sam? What are you doing? Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. Reason, as usual. Yes, you. Hi, Sammy. Hi, Sammy. <laughs> what are you doing with your big bushy tail? Yes. Hey guys, hey, hey guys, hey. How are you? How are? Oh my god! 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 It's my most hated shirt of Shantopolis of all time. Oh wait, no, no. You remember this one? I hate this shirt. <sighs> Oh my God. There's never been an article of clothing. I don't think even the yellow dress, this, this thing, this is my one. This is, <laughs> I hate this shirt. My God. I forgot how much until I just saw it. Wow. Uh, I would also love to know what happened between her and Rena. They were so close. Rena was like, you know, she was always down to do videos with her and stuff and like, go on this adventure, go to this restaurant, go here and there. They had the same stupid sense of humor and that same stupid giggle. What the hell happened to Rena? And the way that not only like she was just like poof and gone one day. And then Chantal never mentioned it. She never raged about her. She never bad mouthed her. She we just never mentioned her. Weird. You. <laughs> Did I just, do I have a new intro? I don't know. Anyway, welcome to day 13. Is it really? Is it day 13? Yeah, it's day 13. So welcome. If you're new here, I'll do a quick recap. Basically, the in a nutshell, I started my channel two years ago as an unhealthy mukbang channel where I did unhealthy eating shows and story times. And, you know, I've been through uh, my channel's just been through a roller coaster of ups and downs. Behind the scenes, when I first started my channel, people didn't know that I suffered. I didn't even really realize that I had an eating disorder recently you know, seen a doctor uh, at an eating disorder clinic 
who I'm, fo I'm being followed by. And I uh, was diagnosed with binge eating disorder and, you know, other issues and food addiction and just, you know, I, basically I need to lose over 200 pounds. And, you know, I've tried just like everyone trying to lose weight. We try different diets. We don't follow through, um, yada, yada, yada. So I, I actually, the only really way of eating. She just yada, yada, 200 pound weight loss. Yikes. Delulu, thank you for the super chat. Red lipstick with polka dots is so retro. It's, it's a choice. It's, it's part of, I don't know. It goes with why I hate this shirt so much. She would always do that look with that shirt. I just, I hate it. I hate it so much, but it's also like, oh, it's good to see you, old friend that I hate. Eating, um, I haven't really tried, given a good, honest try. Well, there's things I haven't given a long time to work. I mean, a lot of diets work for people. You just got to give them time and be consistent. I know that. No, no, that wasn't Rena. I don't think Rena had a kid. The the one that she made fun of was um, Kathy, the one who had gone to Kiwi Farms, Kathy slash manicunt she's the kid she's the one whose kid chantal made fun of yes 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 it was not rena now but i i wanted to try keto because i tried eliminating you know meat dairy from my diet and i would end up binging and so I, I needed to find something that would be satisfying um with my hunger and things like that so along with medication uh, i'm fighting this binge eating disorder and um I thought maybe I'll try keto. I'll give it, you know, I'll give it an honest go. And a lot of people are raving about it. I follow people on Instagram who have these magnificent transformations. So her and her goddamn Instagram. Now it's been replaced by TikTok there, but it's always been the motivation of the TikToks and the Instagrams. And let's talk about some doctor I found on Instagram. I was like, oh, back off. She does have a lot more hair here. However, she's also sitting it up like a lot. A lot of soot, a lot of like teasing it to make it look like thicker and like there's more of it and stuff. It's not like there was a lot. It was a lot of soot. Feral girl, thank you for the super chat. Maybe Rena is the new Mrs. BB. Hey, you never know. You never know. Hmm. Foodie beauty, thank you for the super chat. What happened to Nicki Minaj's rap career? It's <laughs> a good question. Oh, I thought I'm just going to do a 30 day keto challenge. And I know keto is a lifestyle, not just a diet that you do in 30 days. So, and you need to really do it even longer than 30 days to really, you know, see prolonged benefits. So my goal is to just do 30 days for now because I have trouble with committing to diets. So if I can make it to 30 days, I'll be able to do it longer. So that's my goal for now. And so far I'm on day 12. I've had a couple of slip ups here and there, but mostly by my mistake. Um, I had a piece of cake recently um, where I just didn't eat enough that day and you know I did an OMAD and it wasn't a big meal so I was really hungry and I had a piece of cake with me a birthday cake with me uh in my car beside me and I ended up eating it in two seconds flat and feeling pretty crappy about it but I'm moving on and yesterday was a really good day um so if you haven't seen yesterday's vlog please check it out appreciate you all really supporting me on this it really means a lot I feel different this time around I feel really optimistic and just more even tempered. And I feel like things are just really, um, you know, I'm just, things are just good right now. And I know that there's going to be. It's so easy for her to say all this bullshit on a video. This is why she was making videos then and didn't say all this on a live stream. It's not because it's real easy to lie when there's no one giving you pushback in the chat. So that's what she would do. I'm on day 12, actually day 13, but I've been lying to you for 13 days. Tee hee hee. Asshole. Be rough patches and I'm really learning how to deal with those, but it is a learning process. So all that to say, welcome back here. Um, so now instead of doing unhealthy mukbangs, I'm really trying to turn it around and, um, you know, improve my life and, you know, give myself the life I deserve. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm doing. And I wanted to show you guys I was going to save these for the It Chapter 2 premiere, but I thought they would look good with red lipstick. So I wanted to show you guys these cute little Pennywise earrings. Aren't they cute? And they do match my lipstick, so. Damn, my eyes are so bad that I legit thought those were little cameos on red backgrounds. Did anyone see those that far away as It? I did not. I really like them. Um, 
so yeah so that's about it um so today's video basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you a costco haul because today is monday and i like to do my grocery shopping on mondays and i do costco haul maybe doing a costco haul probably like around once a month or something like that so i'm out completely out of certain things that i really love from there so i'll show you what i am going to be getting for my keto costco haul and i'm going to be taking rena along with me and we're going to go so the next clip you see will be of rena and i in costco so Thank you for joining me and let's get to, let's get to. Hey guys, so I just came to Starbucks. I'm a bit early getting Rena. She's finished work at five and it's four. God, look, look how awful that fucking shirt is. I hate that shirt so much. I just have to say it like five more times, maybe. 12, but I wanted to get a head start on the traffic. So I went to Starbucks and I got, I always post this on my Instagram because I just love seeing the different keto obviously I didn't order I didn't get my order yet for my stuff to make my own at home so <laughs> yeah she posts it on her Instagram all the time because you know keto you post it on your Instagram every day because you're trying to be one of those like Instagram girls with their starbies you're such a basic bitch you're not even you're a wannabe basic bitch how pathetic is that 40 years old Jesus um I got a grande cold brew extra ice um sub with sugar-free cinnamon dolce and a splash of heavy cream so oh my god that's amazing mm -hmm. wow yummy so i wanted to tell you guys quickly a funny story I, I had to go to the bathroom so i went to the back to go to the bathroom before i ordered and i opened the door and <laughs> there was a guy in the bathroom um washing his hands and i was like oh my it was so awkward I was just like, I'm so sorry. Like I walked right in and I like almost banged into him and he was like, oh, it's okay. It was really nice. I'm like, good thing. The only thing you were doing was washing your hands, <laughs> you know, like, oh, anyway, he's like, yeah, I thought I locked it, but I didn't hear it click right. So, but the door locked fine for me. So I don't know. Anyways, that was a bit awkward. So yeah, I walked in on a dude in the bathroom. <laughs> Could have been worse, but anyway, so, all right. Probably would have made a better story for you guys, but I'm glad it didn't, <laughs> didn't happen that it was worse. So anyway, I'm going to go get Rena and uh, see you guys at Costco. Bye. So I also wanted to say that one of the biggest things I'm loving so far about being on this journey is actually the support from the keto community. I oh my God. I hate this. I, I'm so glad we're not doing this shit anymore. Energy, although the support from the keto community, ma'am, sitting in your pajamas, waiting for Rena at the end of the day, like shut up with your keto community and your Instagram. God, it's a, it's a video from five years ago and I'm like punching the air. I'm so annoyed. Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. I wonder if someone was to ask what happened to her, if she would answer. I wonder what she would answer. It's been long enough. Maybe she's not like butthurt about it anymore. Maybe she would answer. I have so many of you on Instagram or who have channels like the Keto Diamond channel, other people who have reached out to me and who are just super, super helpful and so welcoming. Let's like, just you know, go to so, Costco. Um, Thank you. Thank you so much. And really means a lot. Hey, peeps. Rena and I are at Costco, right? Going to Costco. <laughs> yes. And we are going to shop here for some stuff. And uh, so let's go inside, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. No, it's not moon cheese, but these are the palm crisps I've been wanting. Oh my God, we were just talking about those the other day. Ooh. Okay, so remember the other day when we were talking about cheese wisps? These are the things. There's these little circle cheese things. You can get them at Costco in a big bag or anywhere else in a tiny little bag. And they're really, really good. And dogs go fucking crazy for them. They're like a keto oh. staple. Wisp. Okay. They don't have many carbs. Like one net carb for 15. That's pretty good. $11.99 Canada. And parm crisps. What's the difference here? These have more carbs. So I'm going to get a thing of wisps. <laughs> Oh my god, did she really? Hold on. <laughs> she did. She deleted deleted. She deleted the last two ragey uh community tab posts. <laughs> Never change, you idiot. Dried fruit. Yeah. So $12.99 for a big bag of Brazil nuts is a pretty good deal. Two net carbs per serving. They're high in selenium, so I'm going to get those. 400 pounds, cheese and nuts in her car. You don't need either one of those things. Walk away. 
foodie beauty. Thank you. Booty. Thank you for the super chat. She meant Cheeto community. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Oh yeah. Dried fruit. Dried fruit is really high in sugar for sure. For sure. <laughs> Max today. Oh, that's a lot. Oh yeah, that's a lot of sugar. Six for this huge thing of minced garlic is a steal. If you don't feel like getting smelly fingers and chopping your own, and apparently this last. If you don't feel like tasting garlic in the way you know Mother Nature intends it to taste, lasts forever. So You're lazy. That's what I'm gonna get. Oh yeah, I do have a still a big bottle of it, but it's good to know it's here. You know. Shredded coconut, if you want some for $7.99. What else do I need? Yeah. I'm noticing more stuff at this one. So for 1.5 kilos, almost of almond flour, $17.99. And this is a staple for keto baking and stuff. So I'm going to get a bag. It's pretty good. What do you bake? What do you bake? You bake nothing. You just bought garlic in a jar because you're so fucking lazy. You can't chop a garlic. But you're going to start baking? You're going to start whipping up a dough. Girl, shut up. Delusional. Delusional. I bet it was YouTube payday. She had a little money in her pocket. And now she's going to go and make a fool out of herself at Costco. She maybe got high first, which is a big mistake. Good. Going to get some. You can make, did I send you my recipe for 90 second keto bread? No. Oh my God, I got to send it to you. <laughs> it's so good. Well, it's not my recipe, but. Look, well, guys. They put in, um, in uh, Caesars. Caesars. Yeah. The extreme beans I love so much. How much are they? $5.99 for a huge, usually for a small one, it's, but they don't have the pickle flavor. Do they? Yeah. Well, not, it's pickle, right? So. Yeah, but it's just the hot, oh, hot and spicy. Like sometimes I have a. She's so out of breath. Calm down. She's so excited. Like, take a minute. Breathe. Move on. My God, man. Dill? Oh. So $5.99? Yeah, no, they all seem to be hot. You call it jarlic? I like that. That's a good deal. So I also got some marinara. Now, you got to watch this on keto because it is higher in carbs. Four net carbs for half a cup. Not too bad. So, Yeah. I love how it's not like too busy, so I don't feel as bad. No, Look at this tub of mayonnaise. <laughs> I'm gonna get, I guess the Costco bacon is really good here. So I'm gonna get this bad boy, $16.99 for a huge pack. I can freeze some. So $12.99 for the holy guacamoles. You get 12 in a pack for the organic. So I got two of those. Yes. You remember when she started cosplaying with the hijab on and talking about bacon and telling everybody how she never used to even eat bacon before? It's, it's like a non-factor to cut that out because when did she ever eat bacon? Well, there she is at Costco buying a double pack of like extra thick, extra fatty, gross bacon. No, she never eats it. What else? Okay, let's see the fruits and veggies. We're going to be heading into the cold where I love it the produce. <laughs> You're going to be cold, huh? Yeah, I'm not big fan. This bag of zucchini, $4.99. I'm going to get one. going to get $5.99 for these Kali. Not the best price, but yeah. you fine? Compared to how much it is at <laughs> Organics. Okay. Yeah, organic strawberry, $6.99. These are really good. They're sweet. I love them. So, <sighs> I'm almost done, my friend. <laughs> it's amazing to see this was 2019 how much the prices of costco have gone up in like less than five years it's incredible holy shit man um ffg yes she did cheat on bb she claims with two different people but neither one of them was pete's do they have lettuce I want to make stuffed portobellos. Oh, if you do that, I'm so over. Coming over for dinner? That's my favorite thing. <laughs> stuffed portobellos? Yes. It's a deal. I'll save it for you. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. So just some other items I didn't show you guys. I got some two-pack of Hidden Valley Ranch, which is just one gram of carb per serving. And mild Italian sausages. I like to eat them with marinara. Some unsweetened coconut milk. These are for Rena. Chicken thighs. 
and some mushrooms. I showed you guys those already. So that's it. Right, Rena? Now we're waiting to cash out and I'll see you guys at home. <laughs> All right, guys, I am back. BB went to get the groceries for me. Thank goodness. Thank you, BB. So I'm going to show you what I got quickly at Costco. I know I showed you guys what I was picking up, but I didn't show you everything. I don't think so. I ended up getting some celery sticks. I love making for dinner. I'm going to make like a snack plate, veggies, dip, some of those wisps, cheese crackers. I really like that. So, um, yeah, I know people are like, some people are into like zero veggies, zero carbs, but I need some veggies. So. <laughs> Cauliflower dip with the, my snack. She's so lazy. It's incredible. Again, somebody who does nothing all day. I'm not necessarily judging buying those like pre-cut veg and whatever. It's better than having no veg. And if you've been working all day, you got kids, you, you got shit to do. Yeah, better sometimes to have the cut one because then you're actually going to eat them, right? Somebody who does nothing all day. Absolutely nothing. Bitch, how hard is it to clean and cut some celery and some fucking cauliflower? How, how lazy can you be? Plates. I got mild Italian sausages. So I ended up spending a total of $2.25, but this stuff will last me a long, long time. So probably all month at least. Um, yeah, I like eating these with marinara, like I said, in like a stir fry or something. That's a lot of sausages for two, for two people. And I would say it's not even two people because those are pork and BB didn't eat pork. So those are all for her. That's a lot, man. Um, 18 bucks for this huge pack of chicken thighs. There's like a couple of layers under there. So this is a good deal because there's a lot and I really like chicken thighs in the oven and we, they like chicken thighs too. So it's a win, you know, another big bag of these frozen chicken breasts. I think that's a really good deal. 25 bucks. I still have a few left from the previous pack I have. So this is a really good deal. Boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I love shredding these and making chicken salad over lettuce, you know, and this bacon here. So I'm going to freeze some, but this is a huge package of bacon. So this was like 17 something. Um, yeah, I'll try to do better at showing you guys prices next time. I'm kind of in a hurry, but so the bacon, thick cut bacon. But she doesn't like bacon. Uh, yeah, I was going to say lime jello. The last time I was at Costco, those chickens, um, the thighs specifically, I think it was about $35 for the tray of them. It was crazy. Oh. So heavy. <laughs> so I got the two pack of Hidden Valley Ranch, just the one net yes, carb per please. serving. And a serving is a tablespoon. So this is for dipping my veggies and stuff and for salads huge thing of garlic like this big for six bucks so to me that's worth it so yeah this is gonna last forever i got brazil nuts so yeah to add to my snack plates you know what's gross like okay he's not practicing and like he's not gonna eat the pork that's one thing i get it it's not the keeping of the pork in the house that necessarily is offensive, but as somebody who doesn't eat pork too, let me tell you what is offensive. The smell of the cooking of the pork. I've told you guys, eh, when the people downstairs cook on Sunday mornings, oh my God. And the bacon, I, in the summer, you got to close the windows because it's coming wafting up in here. It's just so strong smelling to someone who doesn't eat it. Um, I can't imagine someone like frying up bacon in my house. You know what I mean? Ugh! Or, or like pork chops or anything like that. No, that super fucking offensive to anybody who doesn't eat it. That's not fair. You know what I mean? You share a house with someone. You got to be considerate about that at, at least. No, Ugh. gross. It really lingers that smell too. Delulu, thank you for the super chat. Smell of bacon, right? It's just, it's so strong. It's it just sticks on everything, and oh, and like I, you know what I mean. That's the smell that I don't like. I'm very well aware. A lot of people do not like the smell of lamb. They want nothing to do with lamb. Lamb to me is like, well, I love all the lamb, you know. So to each their own. But I'm saying, let's say if I lived with somebody who couldn't stand lamb, I'm not going to be cooking up lamb in a home that we share together. No, if you're at a restaurant, they're serving lamb. Bitch, I'm having the lamb, but I'm not going to be 
cooking it in the house that we shared together. You know what I mean? That's just so disrespectful to your partner. I got some acetaminophen. It's a really good deal, the Kirkland brand, um, for my grandmother because she uses this a lot. And so she wanted me to pick her up some. And I got this case of the so delicious um, unsweetened coconut milk for my coffees or for whatever. Um, there's like no car no net carbs because it's two carbs, but the fiber is two for one cup. So it's, um, yeah, zero carbs. I'm almost done. I got this lemonade for BB. He really likes lemonade. So this is the Kirkland organic lemonade, two things like this for five something. So strawberries, you saw that organic strawberries. Okay. That's nice. At least she got BB something. Something that she saw in the store and didn't think of herself. Went, ah, BB likes lemonade. Let me get him these lemonades. That's so rare for her to think of anybody but herself. Went around food mostly. Thanks, my baby. Thank you for the super chat. He jab cheats, eats everything, ate my toy ponies. Oh, she got sick of staying with a brony in the basement. Basement brony. You have a new name now. <laughs> Foodie and beauty. Thank you for the super chat. So what's new? She smells of pork down. Oh, bleh, bleh. I thought she said it smells like barracuda. That was her words. Going to eat these in moderation. Portobello mushrooms. I'm going to scoop out, take the stem off, scoop it out a little bit, make stuffed portobellas. Yummy. Yum, yum. I'm trying to. This bag of zucchini. Because I'm not uh, the medication I'm on and I can't have too much vitamin K, can't have too many greens, um, I'm trying to get some vegetables in that are not so high in vitamin K. So zucchini is one of them. I got these wisps. So I got these wisps. Um, yeah, these are really good. I, you know, apparently. I haven't tried them yet, but I really wanted to try them. I see everybody who gets who has like keto haul get those. So I think the, the chicken thighs also was for BB because like when has she ever cooked chicken thighs like that? Never. But she even made a point of saying while they were cooking the mafe, he like normally likes chicken on the bone. So I bet she got him those chicken thighs and she bought herself the bag of uh, the skinless, boneless chicken breasts. And that's what's for him. That's all he gets, lemonade and chicken thighs. Huge bag of almond flour. I won't have to get almond flour for a while. And I can bake with this, this bad boy. Yes. Recipes. Aren't you guys excited for the extreme beans? <laughs> Big jar for five bucks. Not bad. Probably have this done before a month. Two jars of this um, marinara sauce. The carbs were not as bad as the Kirkland brand. Um, so it had six carbs and one fiber. So that's five net carbs. Um, and it doesn't have added sugar as an ingredient. So yeah, like I said, I really, I'm going to make uh, something with the, the sausages with this. So yummy. And I got two packs of these holy guacamole organic ones. These are my favorite. The organic um, is what they sell. You get 12. Why would you buy two packs, man? 24 little cups of guacamole for one person. Why does she always ask? Like it's, it's like the first and last time she'll ever have access to food. In a pack. Um, I could eat like two of these a day. So freeze some. So I can freeze some of these. It says right on the thing. So um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to freeze a box and eat this box. And we're going to go through this quickly. Like I should have got three boxes, honestly, for the month because... Um, two a day. Yeah, we're going to need more. I really love these. So yes. Um, well, that's it. That's it for my shopping today. 100% all of those nice portobellos just rotted in the fridge with all of the other veg that she bought. So everything total was like 225. Again, a lot of this, like I got a lot of meat, things that will last a while. So to me, that's a good deal because like I said, I won't have to shop for a while for these things. I'll just need a few more uh, things for produce at the grocery store. Um, and that's about it. I won't have to shop for a little while. So I'm going to go break these meats up and then edit this video and, and put it out there for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this Costco haul and I'll see you tomorrow for day 14.
Yikes. <laughs> Interesting to see her go to Costco. Interesting how cheap Costco was in 2019 compared to now. Interesting choice of purchases for somebody who basically basically lives alone because her and BB don't eat the same food. You know what I mean? So whatever she buys to eat, that's her food. Crazy, crazy shopping. I do feel it was like a manic shopping trip. And we know that on payday, she tends to get real manic. Even back in this day where she wasn't like making like great money on YouTube, but she was making money. So it's payday. She calls Rena, can we go to Costco? Okay. And that's it. She just buys a bunch of manic shit at Costco on payday. Way different from Lushy's Costco. Interesting that you would say so because we're going to be comparing trip for trip. Chantal's Costco trip versus Lushy's Costco trip. And how fucking insane both of them are and yet crazy. They're both crazy in their own special ways. <laughs> I love it. Oh, man. She counts nutrition like ALR does. It has one fiber, 16 sodiums. <laughs> I I love I love mushrooms, like all mushrooms. I'm a mushroom charmoot. I love those portobellos from Costco. They're always beautiful. Hmm, good stuff. Ay, ay, ay. She bought not BB. Not much for BB. No, I think the chicken thighs were for BB. Uh, the lemonade was for BB. And in the end, he'll probably end up eating. If, if any of those veggie bags got cracked open, it was because BB went to cook himself something. Yikes. Ay, ay, ay. Well, listen, for tonight, y'all, that is it. That is all we got. Those are the reacts that we're doing for tonight. Uh, our girl, Carmen Fat Diego, still missing. Don't care. <laughs> She's only hurting herself with this, whatever the fuck this is. I still do think, like most of the chat did, that she's either setting up an apartment right now with Pete's or... They're spending time looking for the appointment, that uh, appointment, apartment. That's why she hasn't been live. And she uh, kind of fake raged on the community tab to buy herself a couple of days away from the internet. He hasn't, Pete's I'm talking about, Pete's also hasn't been live or posted anything on his channel in a couple of days. It seems pretty obvious what's going on. And if it's not that, then she's already on her way back to fucking Kuwait. But I choose to not believe that. I, I don't want that to be true. So I'm going to choose to believe that she's actually looking for an apartment because my God, if she's on the way back to Kuwait, uh, I'm about to jump out the window. Swear to God. Uh, yes. She deleted the community tab post. We know she's definitely watching, but interesting that she would delete those. I wonder what that means. Did a feeder pay her enough on uh, what do you call it? PayPal or whatever that she doesn't need to e-bag until payday? Is she now done figuring out the apartment thing so she doesn't need the time away? Maybe she'll be live tomorrow again. Who the F knows? Listen, whatever she gives with us to work with, if she comes back, it's what we will start with tomorrow. If not, we got hella other things that we're going to watch tomorrow. All right? No one cares, Chantal. If you think you're punishing the community by fucking off for a few days, all you've done was given Girl World a nice weekend off. And we deserve it. <laughs> so keep cutting off your nose to spite your face, cornhole. Your big, big boss business beach. So smart. So much smarter than everyone else. Ah, oh, I love that for you. Anyway, girls, thank you guys so much for being here tonight. Thank you for understanding why I dipped on Friday and Saturday. And <laughs> it doesn't matter. Here we were tonight. We had a good laugh. And uh, it was nice to see you guys. Whatever you're doing with the rest of your night, everybody have a great time. Please be safe, and I will see you back here tomorrow to end tonight's stream. Let's go out on the dune buggy. I just want one more laugh before we end it. Take care, everybody. And everybody make sure to follow that underscore Lindsay on Twitter for this masterpiece and so many more. Ah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Ha, 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 ha.